I'll first talk about Nasir Sahab. Uh, long back, with the beginning of 2000, 2002, we found that one judge was very active in Pakistan and was brave, fearless, ready to stand against you know the military regime and tell Musharraf ji that where and how he ought to be. With these feelings and these sentiments on the biodiversity day, I welcome wholeheartedly all the participants and our very, very great judges to whom we look up to as lighthouses of this biodiversity day. There are hundreds of judges who join the bench, but there are only very few who make their mark on the sense of time and the judgments remain etched in the public memory. I have no hesitation saying, looking at the trajectory of the illustrious carriers, Justice Zahid and Justice Mittal have secured their place for long, maybe until eternity. It's a great honor for me to speak at the occasion of the International Biodiversity Day lecture today. We are part of the solution. This emulates the fact that biodiversity still remains the answer to several sustainable development challenges. From nature based solutions, climate, health issues, food and water security, and sustainable livelihoods. Biodiversity is the foundation on we can build back better. So how do you close this gap between policy goals and objective and environmental protection? In my opinion, one of the most integral instruments is that of the judiciary. It should employ creative means in providing justice to create the protection of the environment and biodiversity. Conservation to that fundamental right. In a short span since inception, uh, LAS has gained recognition regionally and internationally as one of the key professional organizations working in the domains of law, justice and development. At the end, we at NERF wish Justice Nasser Aslam Zahid many more active years of carrying on with his administrative and humanitarian work and we look forward to many more interactions with him in the future.